what's special about today is not just who all of you are in such a diverse community, but also where we are. For those visiting from out of town, if you didn't know, we're actually on the formerly militarized zone of the Berlin Wall. Now let's pause and contemplate that for a moment. If you were standing here just 30 years and a month ago, a concrete wall held you captive, confined you, guarded by guns. Now this meant different things for different people. For some, it meant a separation from family, community, church. For others, it meant a loss of privacy, a breakdown of trust, sometimes even within your own family. And for others, it meant a disconnection, a severing from the rest of the world, substituted with campaigns of disinformation. And for others, it meant a loss of freedom and autonomy, starting with the most basic freedom to leave. And for those born behind the wall, it was, to quote from Maya Angelou, a fearful trill of things unknown but longed for still. Now, the Berlin Wall wasn't just built on space. It was built on ideas. And in a definitive moment of human progress, that wall and the ideology that supported it came down. And now here we convene, builders. We're all builders, right? Seeking better tools to build better democracy and more decentralization. And yet, new walls are being built around us every day, both visible and invisible, coded in zeros and ones. And we're still discovering our own walls, aren't we? Both conscious and subconscious. So it only makes sense as builders that we should ask ourselves, are we helping build these walls or are we helping tear them down? Are we architecting division or diversely shared lives? Systems of control or systems of liberation? Paradigms of scarcity or paradigms of abundance? Now, a lot of you are here today to learn about radical exchange ideas like data dignity, quadratic voting, decentralized identity, and you're wondering, why am I talking about walls? Well, radical exchange is much more than these ideas here today. First and foremost, it is an ethos of humility, of being cognizant of our shared history, cognizant that we are fallible human beings capable of both wild advancements, but also grave mistakes just like our predecessors. It's also an exchange a community-driven discovery process of deliberation, debate, experimentation, knowing your assumptions, stating them, defending them, and then revising them when they're falsified. Radical exchange isn't just what's said on this stage today, it's the questions that all of you ask today. Every question is an important question today, and no question is a bad question. And the quality of today's exchange is only as good as the questions that you ask. Radical exchange is also an inner process of radical introspection, not just asking who am I and where am I, but what am I building and who am I building it for? Who are you building it for? Ideas matter and ideology can imprison us as the Berlin Wall once did. So as we convene here today, I extend an invitation to each and every one of you to engage in a truly radical exchange with your peers. That means not only being willing to see and be shown your own walls, both visible and invisible, conscious and subconscious, it means, at times, tearing them down. Welcome to Radical Exchange.